As a rugby union referee, I know that Australia won the World Cup because they changed their game plan. They looked for the future and they adapted. And at Mary Lansley's, we've made many changes similar to that. We don't want to be in the 20th century, but we want to be in the 21st century. And that means we have to make some changes that reflects our children and their learning for the future. My name is John Goh. I'm the principal of Mary Lansley's Public School. I've been here for eight years. The school is a culturally diverse school. We have 366 students. 10% of the students are refugees, mainly from Middle Eastern, Asian and African backgrounds. We're fairly close to the Villawood Detention Centre and also to uh, Migrant Education Services. Uh, of the 84% non-English speaking background students, they represent 40 language backgrounds. The students at Mary Lansley's need 21st century skills, and those skills include working collaboratively, authentic problem solving, ICT skills, and also self-regulation where they monitor their own learning. We're striving to develop a culture of four aspects. First of all, we're looking at a learning staff, whereby teachers are upskilling themselves through online activities, but also face-to-face -face professional development, but sharing ideas with their colleagues and providing each other with feedback. The second area is looking at students learning anytime, anywhere. We changed our school hours from 8am to 1.15 without compromising the core learning times of the students. We believe that the students learn better earlier in the morning. We know that our students in our local community are awake at that time through previous experience, previous act school activities. And so we want to capture that period of time and utilise that as part of our school learning time. The third aspect that we're striving to achieve is looking at learning spaces, whereby students don't just have to sit in rows or chairs all the time, which is a paradigm of the last century. But in the 21st century, students learn at different types of seating arrangements in a school. They learn to work in comfortable collaborative settings. They learn to work alone, but in groups as well and that requires the furnishings to match the learning that takes place in the classroom. And most importantly, the three aspects of the learning staff, the learning space, and also learning anytime, anywhere, are just precursors for what really counts, and that is the learning pedagogies of the teachers. And that is that if we can change the way our teachers teach, and that is, putting implement the 21st century skills, then we're going to make improvements with our students. This classroom is called the water hall and we call it the water hall because it's a place for us to come together, to share, to collaborate. Um, you know, it, it's, it's like a home for us, it's a very special, we all have a good time so um, it, it's a perfect name for our class. They write reflections as well on it, motto, so at the end of the day they tell us what they have learned um, and what they would like to get um, the following day, like if there's something new they, they would like to attempt. My leadership skills have been influenced strongly by research, but also people online through social media like Twitter, other principals, other educators, university professors, all provide me with the research basis for what we are doing here at Mary Lansley's. As a school leader, I have to demonstrate and model 21st century skills. Through my liaison with Microsoft, I've learned myself that there is no need in the 21st century to have an office, but we can work in a virtual world. Without an office, it gives me the opportunity to work inside classrooms to observe teaching practices, to provide feedback to staff, and also to engage with students in their learning. So I'm very much part of the children's learning now, and also part of the teacher's professional development on a day-to-day -day basis. It's my role to ask questions and to get teachers to self-reflect. It's through their self-reflection that teachers come to an understanding, along with their professional development, of where they are along a continuum. 
We all have our default values when we come out of Teachers College and we rely on our default values early on in our careers. It's when teachers become self-evident of their own practices that they move along that continuum. Yeah, part of my role is to implement change for improvement and also bring about innovation into a school. Our school is striving to be a leader in education and we search the world for the very best practices and also locally. And through that we use social media to exchange ideas and then along with exchanging ideas we seek to create um, a better education for our students.